can see that. Oh yeah. Come on out, buddy. Oh, it's a liar snake. <laughs> Will he bite me? I mean, he could. All right, people, what is up? I'm about five minutes away from a morning call here in Scottsdale. A property manager has a tenant moving in right now, and the tenant noticed some scales poking out from under the threshold of the front door. Sent me a picture, and I confirmed that that is, in fact, a rattlesnake. So here's what, you saw the picture, so. Yeah, yeah, I see him. Oh, you do? Yeah, he's right there. Is he really? Let's see here. What kind is it? The snake? Yeah. It's a Western Nine Mac Rouse. What are you calling this? Mm -hmm. His tail came whipping out and he kind of went down right in the middle of it. Yeah, it doesn't look like it goes down. It looks like it actually goes up. Do you have a screwdriver handy? Um, I might be able to take this off and do it quick. Do they have nests? Do they lay eggs? Do no, they don't lay eggs. They're, it would be pretty obvious if there was a nest here. This guy's probably just hiding out. I wouldn't worry about a nest or anything. Thank you very much. Let's see how, how this goes here. How are you, ready? Hey everyone, headed to a call in Cave Creek right now. Got a rattlesnake in a garage, and I guess uh, it was trying to go under a fridge. I'm not too sure if it actually made it under the fridge or whatnot, um, but I'm gonna be there very soon, so we shall see. Let's go. How you doing? So he's in the garage, huh? Okay a metal cabinet and there he was oh, sure. and then he slithered under the yes the okay i will go around and okay. open this for you you almost see a lot of snakes out here huh you guys were just out here like a week ago we had oh, a baby in the the backyard oh shoot yeah okay here we go all right oh, we've got that Okay, so under the white freezer there. Okay, I know. I opened the cabinet. He was in that little ridge. Yeah. And he slithered underneath there on this. Kind of bigger. Uh, about 16 inches. There he is. Oh, oh, it's a liar snake. It's, it's not a rattlesnake. No, it's called a liar snake. Oh, like it's lying about being a rattlesnake. Yeah, there, <laughs> very cool. What about the noise? I guess it must. Be I think it's the fridge right you're here in. No kidding. But he's that looks one. just like a rattlesnake. No, yeah, they do have cool pattern. That's so cool. I love liar snakes. I do not. <laughs> <laughs> Will he bite me? I mean, he could. Okay. I'll let go. All right, I'll put you in here, buddy. Well, you know, we want good ones house. on the property. Can you just throw them out? Like, uh, Y'all have to find some kind of rocky hole or yeah, something to put yeah. them in. Yeah, they're like super nocturnal, so we like never get them in houses, and they tend to avoid like, well, you live very out in the rural, you yeah, know. Yeah. So cool. Well, snakes are good because they eat mice and, and things that you don't mm -hmm. want to have Yeah, he's a good snake to have around. Okay. Right. Yeah, I mean, he's not going to hurt you, anyone, anyone, you know. He's not going to hurt anything. Liar snake. What do you want to do? See, look. You see his tail? Oh, yeah. Oh, it is vibrating. Yeah. See, I saw that and I thought, okay, well, that's got to be a rattlesnake. Yep, yeah. So, a lot of snakes will do that. It's just that rattlesnakes develop the rattle. Huh. And, like, that's like back up, man. <laughs> so, I'm not going to touch you. <laughs> you want to go in this hole? You found a nice spot. I don't have one of these running things. Oh, he loves the hole. Look at that. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> wow, that was fast. Wow, See you, bud. <laughs> Dang, we got a liar, liar snake, so cool. That's only my second one on relocation that I've ever got in the last four years, so it's not a snake I get too often. A gorgeous snake. They have those 
vertical pupils which just make them look so exotic um they're primarily like nocturnal uh, and like rocky terrain so it's just not a snake that you know we get by homes but this house is really like out in the middle of nowhere so uh, i guess it likes that garage so their primary prey is actually i had to look it up uh, i use my handy dandy book here good book i use it all the time so primary prey is bats and lizards and i guess they the leave birds and rodents as well that was cool I, I got an hour and four minute drive home there's a 14 minute delay you know what that would normally be really sucky but since i just got a liar snake i almost broke my neck there <laughs> so i just got a liar snake um you know i'll be all right so oh, buddy. Come on out, buddy. Get out of there. That's there right. he is. He's off on the right. Yeah. You guys. Yeah. Oh, Where is he? He's right there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's right here. I'm just at the... Do you want me oh, to... Oh, yeah. He's out at. Yeah, you can go ahead and turn the water off now. Here, you no, hold. You here. Start again. Ah. Good stuff. He didn't even hear me say. Oh, uh, he, he gave me a little rattle, but you can't hear it that well because his rattle's wet. All right, everyone, snake secured. I'm out here walking alongside a wash. More work than usual to get that snake out. Um, those people were really nice. It's kind of a crowd watching me. But one of the four or five people that were watching me was really adamant that I killed a snake. So I spent a little bit of time explaining why that's not good why what we do is better than killing the snake. Everyone, I think, kind of understood at the end, which is good. Education is about half the job. Sorry for the rough ride, Mr. Snake. But this is a cold snake, like I suspected. Check that pretty snake out. Gonna give him a little touch on the tail, encourage him to go. And this is one of the prettiest rattlesnakes I've had the privilege of seeing in the past couple weeks. He's getting a little defensive with me. Just making his way into this pack rat nest, waiting for what he feels is a safe opportunity. And there he goes. 